If you're choosing a photo for a picture engraved pennant, you probably have a few questions. What photo should you use? How do you know if it's clear enough? Or is it too small? Here's some tips for you on how to choose the best photo for your picture engraved pendant. There are three things to think about when choosing a picture with the best visual quality. Those three things are the photo's age, the photo's lighting, and its clarity. Your picture may seem fuzzy or grainy if it's an older photo. If so, that's okay. It's just important to know that while the photo can be sharpened and adjusted, that fuzzy and grainy look will still be on the printed pendant. If your photo is too bright or too dark, there can be a loss of detail in the picture once it's engraved on the pendant. To counter this, it's best to choose a photo with even lighting. Not too dark, not too light. The clarity of a picture is crucial to making a great looking photo engraved pendant. Photos that have a lot going on in the background or foreground can be confusing and a bit distracting from the focus of the picture. It's best to use a picture that is clear and the main subject of the photo is easy to see. When picking a picture to be sent to be photo engraved, almost any file type is compatible with our editing software. However, it is preferred to use .jpg files if possible. It's also best to make sure that the image has a resolution of at least 400 by 400 pixels. If you want to check your photo's resolution on the Mac, you can do so by right-clicking image and clicking get more info. As for Windows users, you can right-click the image and select properties and then select details at the top right of the new window. The image dimensions will be displayed here. So let's try to make our own. Here's a photo that's a .jpg file, not too dark and not too light, and meets our requirements by being larger than 400 by 400 pixels. Once the image is sharpened and the features enhanced, we end up with a great example of what a crisp and clear photo and gray pen should look like. So what photo should you choose? Well now that you know what it takes to make a great looking photo and gray pendant, you're only a few steps away from choosing your photo, uploading the file, and getting your very own one of a kind photo and gray pendant. So was this video helpful? If so, please let us know by leaving a comment below telling us what you think. Also, don't forget to subscribe to the channel for more jewelry tutorials and showcases. And from everybody here at Jewelry Keepsakes, we hope you have a great day.